Hello all, this is your CRC update for September 1st. Can you believe it? September. And I have a special guest with me, his name is Leo. He's not all that engaged, but he is present. So a couple announcements just to remind you of, and a couple additional requests. First and foremost, we are on this current plan of 9 a.m. online service on Sunday and a 10 a.m. outside worship service that will continue through the month of September and then come in October. That's when things will change, hopefully, and we'll be able to come inside for worship on Sunday mornings and we'll also offer an online option. And we'll be moving into Wednesday night activities, including food and classes. And so details will be coming to you soon just to give you more specifics about what it's going to look like for us to be inside. So stay tuned. Um, appreciate your patience in all of this. Uh, clearly this is an incredibly unique time with a bunch of uncertainty. So just appreciate the, your willingness to both be patient with us as we navigate all of this and just covet your prayers that as we make decisions that we continue to turn our attention upon God and be led by him. So also asking for a couple specific ways that you can pray. Um, first and foremost, we have been a year in our search for a new Young Life Church partner, youth minister for Community Reform Church. And I'm really proud of the team that we have. Uh, they've done an outstanding job. We've actually brought up three people. We've offered the job to one, but all of that has not led us to the person that's going to lead us in this position. So just really asking if you would commit over the course of this next month, you know, especially as you're thinking about school starting and kids getting back into their somewhat routine sports taking place, hopefully, um, and although we are sad that some of them are not, um, as you think about that, I encourage you to be praying for us and for our church and for the person that needs can fill our position. So please make this a matter of prayer. We really do want to do what God wants us to do, and it has been a long time. We trust him for sure, but just really encourage you to be asking on our behalf that God would lead us to that person. And in light of that, encourage you to be praying for our students. Um, praying for the students of Charlevoix and East Jordan and Boyne City and Petoskey and places where we have folks and um, clearly it's a unique time for them. You know, we've started meeting with our seniors and just been really impressed with the people that they are, but also really sensitive to the fact that they're facing some unique circumstances that for some of them, they're, this is not what they've expected for their senior year. And there's loss in that, um, but there's also opportunity in that. And just ask that you be praying for students in our communities, that God would continue to make himself known in the midst of these unique circumstances. And that part of what we know that even in difficult times, uh, God is helping us to grow. And that's really the theme for our service coming up this Sunday. We're gonna do kind of a one-shot sermon series uh, for this Labor Day weekend. Our text is going to be James 1, 2 through 8, and the title of the message is Growing Through Trial. And it's part of what we're all experiencing, and I hope that God's Word on Sunday can help encourage us as we recognize there's lots of opportunities for us to grow and to be reminded of God's presence and God's power in the midst of the circumstances that we face, and especially in the midst of times of trial, which it sure feels like many of us are in, if not all of us. Well, I hope this video finds you well. Sure appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And if there's anything that you need, if there's any questions that you have, if there's any way that I or the church can be helpful to you, please don't hesitate to reach out. But we do hope that we can see your faces soon and continue to know that we continue to pray that God would make himself known to you in the midst of all that's taking place. Have a great week.